hey, so do you have one of those rooms in your houses that never stays clean no matter how often you clean it? Um, this is it for me. It's not really room. I call it my Harry Potter room, but it's my storage under the stairs. It's the only storage I have in my entire house <laughs> and um, it's small. So what I did, I literally, I'm going to show you the before, I opened the door, stuff literally fell on me, but I wanted to reorganize it without spending any money and make it so it stayed organized. So I'll show you what I did. So I just opened up my closet door to my Harry Potter room and this stuff literally fell out on top of me. This is how bad it is. Pretty bad. Uh, I can't even get in here. So I'm reorganizing it. It is New Year's Eve. What else would you do on New Year's Eve with three kids? I'm going to be reorganizing my Harry Potter room. You see, if I can show you way back there, you see a little Christmas elf. That is Charlie, our elf on a shelf. This is how lazy and how bad this is. I can't even get back there to put him away. So I literally chucked him in there. This is the before. This is this is how you know I'm a hypocrite and a slob. And I am going to reorganize this, hopefully before the drop ball drops in three hours. Wish me luck. So I never show you the during process, so I thought that I would <laughs> this time. I took everything under the stairs out. Obviously all the Christmas stuff I've taken out and I've I've sorted, but we also had things like suitcases, old kids' toys. We got rid of four garbage bags of things that I wasn't needing for donation and things that just needed to be thrown out from under the stairs. So I'm going to find homes for all this and put it back under the stairs, so stay tuned! Okay, so here's the after. You can see there's a clear path. The first thing I did was take out things that I used on a regular basis. I was actually storing papers in here for my college course that I teach and things like that in here for some reason where it just wasn't easy to get to. So I, if it's something's hard to put away, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it. And that's what I was doing here, and that's why I had the big pile. So I relocated those to the office area, which makes sense, duh, right? And I've left in here only things that I would use about once a year. So we have extra chairs here for our upstairs table. We've got our suitcases. We have, you know, if we have a party, we have the card table and chairs and things like that. And then the rest is really just miscellaneous decorations and other things. I totally just banged my head. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I played Tetris. I like put it all in here properly, but I also sort of zoned it this time. We do, I in November, I put up decorations like in the upstairs that aren't Christmas tree decorations, but they're Christmassy. So I put those type of things here. And then I put over by the Christmas trees all our Christmas tree ornaments and things like that. And that way I'm able to get to things easily, but I don't have to like move the Christmas tree ornaments to get to the stuff that I put out first. So I tried to think more logically when I was packing things back in here. Then I have things that are on the back and the bottom that I hardly ever use. We have extra games and electronics my husband just doesn't want to get rid of. So I've got those obviously um, and back here in the spots where I don't want to get to them. The other thing is I was just stacking things too high. So I've got my kids um, clothes that are way too big for them. People have hand-me-downs, but I want to be able to get to them easily. So instead, I just put those on top so I can open it up and grab the things I want to grab out. But um, yeah, it's easier for me to get to, so I'll actually maybe <laughs> go through them and not forget till they've outgrown them. And I decided to stick the labels on last. It's just printer. I just used... Um, regular printer paper and printed these out and then I taped them on while I was in here so I could see them all. Before what I've done is labeled a couple of sides and then I had to, you know, put the toad in sideways and the label was on the wrong side. So I waited till things were in here before I stuck the labels on them. So that is my Harry Potter room reorganized. I'm really, really happy because I can actually get in here now. And if we, you know, we're having a party, we need the card table, I don't have to take everything out. I did have to relocate something, um, like all our collectibles and memorabilia, and I can't wait to show you how it looks, so stay tuned.